Je salue toute famille, mes amis, qui regardent nous. C'est toujours le buzzing côté pour Anglais Biden. Je dis à nous tous les avec un autre épisode. Nous côté pour idiom ça. To make up one's mind. N'oubliez mettez ça là. Quand il a qui là, one's mind. Ok? To make up one's mind. Nous voilà monsieur qui s'appelle le dia. Nous voilà monsieur qui s'appelle le dia. Nous avons tout qui côté pour utiliser. Donc, si vous faites pas tant sur Chanel là, je vous recommande à regarder les sons avant tel que les sons 1. Le film de Sylvain, vous l'appelez, vous pouvez tout abonner, partager et activer le petit Comme ça, vous pouvez chaque vidéo que nous nous publier pour vous. Bien, et nous dit que vous êtes tous disponibles. Dégagez vous venez pour privé pour parler anglais dans un petit temps qui est court. Vous venez pour l'anglais dans trois mois, qui est une fois par l'anglais. Vous prenez un plan spécial là, dans six mois, en gloire de Yassou. Ok? Bien, ok, Christian, let's go ahead and try to work with to make up one's mind. To make up one's mind, what does that mean? That means you're trying to decide on something and you're probably slow about to make up deciding. One's mind. So it's, it basically means decide. Mm -hmm. But one question. If you can only, if you can just say decide, why would they say to make up one's mind? Why would they make it so hard, so difficult? Why, why do you do that? Honestly, I don't know. Other than it's interesting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it is interesting for you, but not for me. <laughs> as a foreigner, not for me. It's uh, as it's not easy, and especially for my beginners, it's not, not easy. easy. Just no. say decide. If we could yeah. get everybody on board to do that yeah just say decide no 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 you don't have to say like to make up make up your mind okay let's try to use it in a sentence mm -hmm. because to make up one's mind that's not gonna it's not, it's not gonna this, this is not gonna stay there we're going to replace this one okay okay we're going to replace it by a pronoun and no by okay? an adjective possessive We're going to replace this, this by possessive adjective. Okay? Possessive adjective here. So, now this, si vous contre les adjectifs possessifs, nous avons une vidéo comme ça. Je recommande à chercher. Je pense que I have a lesson about that. I think it might be to have the iPad. Would you please grab the iPad? I'm just going to look it up for them. Je vais vérifier pour nous. D'accord? Je pense que c'est dans l'entreprise de 17, 18 ou 19. We have those. We have them. I think it must be lesson probably 16 or 17. 16 or 17. You check there. Yeah. I'm checking here. Yeah. Well, check yours. You should see it. Lesson 16 or 17. That's where it is. Because I don't want. I don't want. Bah les pièces mon nolé. Tout ça m'abdi là-haut. Tout que t'as là sous Chanel déjà. Okay. Je vais nous faire attention à tout. Je vais vous faire une vidéo sur ça. Il y a plein de monde qui a utilisé le contenu anglais par Biden. Ils ont mis ça sur l'autre chaîne. Ils ont dit, ça ne peut pas utiliser deux téléphones. Ils ont un seul téléphone, ils ont un seul email. Pour que les gens ne puissent pas demander sur le nom de l'IBC. Ok, parfait, bah, comme ça. Ok? Bien. Il y a des gens qui créent l'autre chaîne sur le nom anglais par Biden juste pour que ça passe tout. Mais nous disons, il n'y a pas de chaîne seulement qui est important, mais c'est la tête avec le contenu qui va mettre. Fuck you, Soti. Fuck you, yo, Soti là. Ok? Nous allons voir où est le matériel là qu'on y a là. Et les sons, c'est. Yes! It is 18. Lesson 18. Yes! Yes, 18. Go watch it. Yes! 18. Ok, nous disons ça, c'est les sons. 18. Par vous souple, le bon titan al gadil. Leçon 18. Qui veut dire, le même venant phase, n'a fait conversation, n'a fait ça que les idiomes, c'est parce que nous avons d'abord tout bagaille basique que nous connaissons. Par contre, il y a un arrivé à The way I teach during the first like 30 lessons, mm -hmm. I teach them straight, basic, essential. Grammar. That's key. Yes, yeah, key. Because everything you will be talking about here, they should be able to find them from lesson 1 to 30. That's 
That's perfect. Yeah, that you should find it. Good. Yes. Qui veut dire tout ça que vous un dans anglais pour parler anglais, vous avez venir de leçon 1 jusqu'à leçon 3. Après ça, c'est des bagages techniques ou ou pas ou pas ou pas la bonne. Qui veut dire lesson number 18, they should be able to find possessive adjective. Bien. Mais si vous avez deux dans dans the possessive adjectives, they are, let's say my your his and so on okay so in this case we have to use we're going to replace this by possessive adjective okay okay kounya la nou pral utilize expression sa nan yon phrase so this whole thing means to decide that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> well, you know, you 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 make you make the call drop. You are nuisible. Are we? You are nuisible. How do I say? For some reason, the verb decide. We should have used a phrase that would be a single verb. To make up one's mind. And bon, la gang on moi et demi là. Nous disions deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, six words for just one. That's not that's that's not smart. But as we discussed in our last video, sometimes we cut down on the sounds that uh, we say and blend them together. Exactly. So we'll, we'll just add more. Uh huh. Somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now let's go. It's time to use it in our in a sentence. Uh, let me grab like the black one and the green. Here we have. What is the big one? Okay, there's a big black one here. You need to make up your mind, right? You do. Okay. Quickly. <laughs> you need to make up your... Okay. You need to make up your mind. Okay, I think we might want to squeeze it a little bit better here. It's gonna take. <clears throat> okay, let's squeeze it a bit better right here. Because we need to discuss this thing really well, right? You need to make up your mind okay we squeezed it right you did it yes okay you need to make up your mind but Lordy, you need to there is some sort of like pressure right you have to mm -hmm. you need to it's pretty much like you have to okay when you say you need to it's pretty much like you have to You have to, or you must. Correct. You must. Okay. Qui veut dire? Nous comptons avec des must. Avec qui veut dire? Qui nous dit you must? Ou dit you have to? Ou bien you need to? Okay. You need to. La. Okay. Parce que maintenant c'est you need to. On dit pas donc you need to. You must. You have to. You need to. Tout ça veut dire même bagarre qui veut dire ou doit ou obligé. Qu'on a vu là, nous parlons pas de là. Deuxième partie là, qui c'est make up your mind. Remember, I told you this one here. We need to replace it by a possessive adjective. That's exactly what we did here. We replace once by your. Qui veut dire où doit décider. You need to make up your mind. What does that mean to you? You need to make up your mind. When can we use this? In conversation, mm -hmm. like this, so like, when you need to decide promptly. You know, oh, okay, okay. So you're being like indecisive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. So expression we use. We say, "My dear, you have to decide, my dear. You have to decide. You have to decide. You have to. Last answer. You have to say, "You have to decide." Decide. Okay. Lambda can say you need to, but you must. Ou bien 
you have to what if ça même pas là mais là make up your mind with you do we decide you see we use this thing when somebody is very like indecisive like they don't even know what to do so they're just like they're procrastinating correct correct and, and another that, phrase we would use for mm -hmm. that is wishy-washy when somebody is procrastinating yeah oh wishy-washy when they're indecisive okay indecisive. okay yeah wow wishy-washy wishy-washy man <laughs> that's amazing okay so you need to make up your mind qui veut dire ou doué décider ou ou les gars faire ça faire pas gain petit temps comme ça okay let's continue we have let's try something else another sentence here let's say we don't want to use it with your we can use it with mind okay let's say I haven't made up, right? Correct. My mind. I haven't made up my mind. Just a moment. Let me check something really quick. Okay. Yes. You see there? I haven't made up my mind. Fais attention avec ça, mes amis. So, in the verb to make, son verb qui est irrégulier, là, oui? irrégulier. Ou elle dit, ou elle dit to make, to make, made, made. Ok? Ok, just a moment. Ok? On dit to make, made, made. So this is the infinitive, past tense, and past participle. It's the same thing, okay? We dit là, elle dit, I haven't made up my mind. I was like, I haven't decided yet. No, you're thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. We dit là, elle dit, moi j'aime beaucoup décider, beaucoup choisir, beaucoup ça m'a fait, okay? I haven't made up my mind. Moi, pour qu'on connaît qui ça m'a qui ça m'a fait. Ou bien pour qu'on décide. Pour qu'on décide, ou bien pour qu'on choisit, pour qu'on prend décision. I haven't made up my mind. Can we ask a question about it with, with the same with the same structure? I think we can ask a question. Let me try asking a question a little bit. Let's say, has she made up her mind? Has she made up her mind? Has she made up her mind? Let's avoid confusion here. It's too close to it. Put it right here. Okay. Has she made up her mind? No one did. Est-ce qu'elle a décidé déjà? So let's say you you are about to go out. Mm -hmm. Then when you go, you go to your closet, <laughs> and then you keep looking. You have like like thousands of dress. Thousands of like a skirt, and you still look, keep looking, keep looking. It takes it, women a long time to make up their mind. A long, I know. That's why. That's why I decided to choose the, to pick the question with a woman. I use she. Has she made up her mind? Not yet, because she needs to look at every single dress and the jewelry, the, the jewelries, shoes. and like how the, she can the wear purse, the hair, the yeah. purse. They have to perfectly match. If they don't match perfectly, then she will keep looking. Or she won't go. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's the worst. <laughs> okay. Is this is this the reason why women tend to be always late and men have to wait for them most of the time? Yes. 
the and indecisiveness. Indecisive. So they have men you have to wait. Like you men you you, are, you don't have like so many options. Because you just grab your shoes, you just go to your closet and the first thing you see, you just grab it and you you, you put it on you. Your mind is already made up before you go to the closet. Uh, already made up. So let's yeah. say my mind is already made up, right? Put a different color. That's interesting. I have already decided. <laughs> you have. I mean, the moment you go to that closet, it's clean clothes. That's it. Clean clothes. That's it. Yep. Some people don't even care if it is ironed or not. You do, though. I do. <laughs> You're decisive. Yes. About that. Very decisive. Yes. <laughs> I have already made up, right? my mind i have already made up my mind while you still in a closet you keep looking for clothes when you have like millions of dresses and over there you keep looking for clothes right but i've already made up my mind so i just go there and then grab the one i needed and then that's it correct and even after spending like I was looking for clothes that you're going to spend an extra hour to make up. It's true. Hmm. Okay. Exactly. Tu veux dire, garçon nous même nous plus facile pour faire taquer pour make up our minds because we nous décider plus rapide. Okay? Like I'm very easy to make up my mind because I already know what I want. And I don't have like many options available either. That's helpful though. It's helpful. Sometimes it's you know, better to have less options. Less options. You spend like less time, like trying to sort or trying to choose to look around and compare and all those things. Correct. Okay. Okay. So another way they use it. So you say eight. Okay, this is this is. I need to write this with red. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so let's say it's now or never. Is what does that mean to you? Now or never? Mm -hmm. It's like you better decide. You better this decide. second. You better make or up your forget mind. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> okay, it's now or Never. Qui veut dire, ce soit décidé qu'on y a ou bien ou perdit chance so pour toute la vie. Ça son ultimatum, right? Yep. Yes. It's now or never. Now you need to make up your mind. So if you want to go now, you better make up your mind. You better make up. Wearing. You better make up your mind. Otherwise, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you, and then you're gonna you're gonna lose that forever. Exactly. There's not gonna be a second chance. Exactly. Okay, so guys, you know, it is now or never. You need to subscribe. If you don't subscribe now, somebody is going to steal your spot. Make and up your mind. Make up your mind and subscribe. Exactly. Exactly. And then you will keep learning these little things very easily. Very like, it, the way we, we present them, it's so easy to digest, right? Exactly. You know, you know what I mean. And you know how to use them in sentences, and it's a lot, it's very fluid and easy to and grasp. And you get to learn other ways of saying the same. Exactly. Thing. So you can say, "Decide" is very flat, but if you want it to be spicy, exactly, <laughs> you put some little spice in it, right? You say, "Make you better make up your mind." You can just say, "You better decide," but "decide" is just too flat. Exactly. So you want you want it to be like like sexy and, and like the spicy with a little flavor, some mm -hmm. little color. We say, make up make your mind. mind. I make up my mind already. I already subscribe. How about you? I subscribe too. And mind then, is made up. Okay, then it's time for you to make up your mind. Subscribe, share, and activate the bell. Okay? Thank you so much, Christine. That was Thank awesome. Thank you very much. See you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.